Hey there, how is everybody? I am DZSK. Thanks for checking out my video. In this video, I'm gonna show you the ultimate guide to farm gilded beehive armor in Ancient Hunt. It is a very rare armor that you can only obtain it from daily trial. Also, the gilded variants of Beaness armor, pickaxe, and hunting bow. There are more ultimate guide on farming gilded item. It is right down there at the description. Make sure to check that out. Oh, by the way, if you enjoy my content, make sure to hit the subscribe button to show your support. It just takes you a few seconds to do it and it is free. If you did, I am very appreciated. I have started a Discord community if you are looking for friends to play with or looking for some cool unique item to trade or hang in there to have a chit chat with people, make friends, everyone is welcome in. If you are in there, hit me up guys. The link is at down there at the description. Alright, let's get back to the topic. The first thing you need to know is which rune to summon the instant mob that have a chance to drop this gilded item. It is the 2 skinny A, fat A, and Y rune to summon the instant tower. Now you can start to farm the item that assigned with this rune. Just farm rare or common item is enough. You don't need to farm unique item for this rune, the drop rate is much lower and it takes more time to farm it. There are many items that are assigned with this rune, I have filtered it which and where so you can find it much more easier and faster. Now here's the table. This table contains all the information that you need, which item and where you can farm it. Those items that are not shown in this table is not recommended to farm it and some of it is assigned with rune that will summon another or more instant mob in the offering and it will lower down your chance to farm the guild item that you want. You can see it at the back of the table and there is two method of combination for this ancient tower. The first method is wait for daily trial that drop Venus armor for skinny air and Y rune. Then farm as many as you want. Do not complete the mission otherwise you can't play it anymore. Just quit the mission before you use the exit so that you can replay the mission. If the daily trial is at soggy cave, it drops hunting bow for another skinny air rune. If it is at Pumpkin Pressure of Buff Forest, it drops Soul Sight and Soul Knife for Fat Air Rune. If it is at Lost Settlement, it only drops Venus Armor. After farming at any of these 4 daily trials, you will still need another rune, either Skinny Air or Fat Air Rune. The best map to obtain the Balance Rune is at Soggy Swamp. It drops Soul Knife and Hunting Bow for the Balance Rune you need for the offering. This method only requires 3 items and you can invest as high as 9 points for the run. The method 2 is farm at Soggy Swamp for Mystery Armor, Soul Knife and Hunting Bow. After getting all these 3 items, then head to Dingy Jungle, speed run to finish the mission. It has as high as 50% chance to reward you either Tasty Bone or Buzzy Nets Artifact for Skinny Air Rune. Or you can speed run at Cacti Canyon. It has 60% chance to reward you with either Wind Horn, Soul Lantern or Wonderful Weed for Skinny Air Rune. If you get Wonderful Weed, then you can run with maximum 9 points. If you get Soul Lantern, no Air Rune on your weapon. Then you can run with 6 points or add weapon with T Rune, then you can run with maximum 9 points. If you get Wind Horn, you can use it on method 1. That means you don't need to use Hunting Bow. If you are confusing with any of these two methods, you can leave a comment at below. I will try my best to help you or you can hit me up at my discord channel, the link is at the description. So to farm all these items faster, choose the difficulty that you can one shot with your ranged weapon. If you are unsure, then just select the easier difficulty. If your power level is at 250, then Apocalypse plus 10 is a good choice. Then equip armor and artifact that increase movement speed, melee weapon with prospectors and chairman. It is not necessary to have this if you have it, it is a bonus. So you can earn some emerald while farming item. And hub crossbow, if you don't have hub crossbow, lightning hub or skater crossbow will do. With hub crossbow, you can kill much faster. You can also buy this item from merchant, check it out from time to time and restock if you have some emerald. If you see the specific item you want, just buy from them. If it saves you a lot of time and don't restock too many times, it will cost you a lot unless you are rich. If you want to earn a lot of emerald and experience, you can check out my video, it is right up here or down there at the description. Make sure to check that out, it can help you to get rich and earn a lot of experience just by standing. 
Alright, once you have everything, equip the best gear you have then you can start the hunt now. I recommend you to go with 6 point is good enough. If you wish to go with 9 maximum point for even higher chance, yes you can do that. As for the difficulty, select based on your gear capability. And of course, the higher difficulty, the better item power level drop. In the hunt, just look for the purple glowing door to beat the ancient tower. This boss is easy but his minion is crazy. It enchanted with electrify and they can shock you to die instantly. So you gotta be very careful. If you are going for melee fight, it is better to have potion bearer enchantment on your armor. Activate then rush to them to kill them like a boss. You can also one shoot instant kill the boss by using torment quiver. Equip an item that can add soul. For me, I use soul bow with dynamo enchantment and make sure to gather some soul before you enter the boss arena. Charge up at least 2 stack of dynamo, active torment quiver, then charge shoot to finish the boss. Ta da! And here's your kill the item. Pick it up and to the next door. And every time after you finish the instant hunt, it will refresh the pickling merchant stock. So make sure to check out the pickling merchant for new stock of kill the item. It might have something that you are looking for. If you see the kill the item that you want, just buy from him. Alright guys, I hope this ultimate guide can help you to farm gilded beehive armor and other gilded gears much faster. If you have any question or suggestion, please leave a comment below. You can also find me at my discord community, everyone is welcome in. I hope you enjoy and find some useful info in this video, so don't forget to support me by hitting the like and subscribe button, it is free. So happy hunting, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.